أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. There's a place at Dar al-Islam in New Mexico. If you go outside in the masjid, all right, there's a, a place where the water drips from the roof, just outside the masjid. And there's a brick there. And I've watched that brick diminish over the years. I've been going to Dar al-Islam almost 20 years. And I've seen the brick. It gets deeper and deeper because of this drop that's going on. And, and the heart is like, it becomes like a rock. You know, like a hijara or a shaddu qaswa or even harder than a rock. But Allah says that from rocks, they're ones that birth forth springs. And so the hardening of the heart is, that's what dunya does to the heart. Yuqasi al qalb. It makes the heart hard. There's people who hear the Quran, it has no effect on them. They hear it. People, people used to die hearing the Quran. Wallahi, I swear to God, people used to literally die. They're, we have it in the books. They would hear a verse of Quran, they would die. The, the Sahaba heard the Qur'an and they were suddenly in China and in Morocco. I mean, these are, they called them lizard eaters. The Persians looked down on the Arabs. They were nobody. They were a insignificant historical people just living in this desert. They never went anywhere. They had rihla to shita'i wal sayf. They went to Yemen and they went to uh, Syria. That was it. So what was it that suddenly they're in China and, and Morocco? Spain. Spain. I mean, what was it? What, what was that? It was because their hearts burst. You know, they got filled with this incredible light. It's like a, it's like, you know, it's, it's a taqa noawiyah. You know, it's, it's the real nuclear uh, power. And that's the real nuclear power. But it's not toxic. It does the opposite. Like their nuclear power destroys everything. This nuclear power brings everything to life. You know, it really, it restores life to dead civilizations. That would happen. Suddenly the Persians, they were a moribund situ uh, civilization, dead. And they got brought back to life. Look at the Turks. You, you know what the Turks were before they were Muslim? They were Byzantine Christians. They were at the end of their, they were at the end of their civilization. And Islam came and brought them back to life. Go to Turkey and look at what they built. They were a dead civilization. It infuses people. That's what this religion does. So in